all right farmers welcome back to the channel so today we've got some new mods all right there's the update so we got the old farm package by dmi 20 mm normandy and in the change log for that it's got changed occluder names added farmhouse 03 and shed 02 then we've got the annie burger hts 20.12 by vertex design and in the change log for that we have got fixed decals uv fixed hub clipping fixed model issue and added ai support and we've also got an update to the TLX 2020 series by 82 Studio. Oh, right, let's have a look at this. So the first part of this is the TLX 2020 box it. This is going to be under miscellaneous in the tool section. It's got a 7,000 litre capacity. It's going to cost you 4,250 to buy. The options you got there are vinyls. So you've got standard, vinyl one, vinyl two, three, four, and then back to standard capacity You've got standard 7000 litre capacity and then unreal 28000 litre capacity very nice and then on the color option you've got any one of those to match up to the main truck and to go with the back you've also got the tlx 2020 box it trailer 7000 litre capacity 4450 to buy a standard that's got a two grand option on it which don't really see where that is but anyway usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tires to match up to your main vehicle v vinyls standard one two three four and then back to standard capacity seven thousand or unreal twenty eight thousand main color match it up to your main vehicle and then rim color obviously does the rims We've also got onto the animal section, these two tankers, the TLX 2020 Abbey Tanker and the TLX 2020 Abbey Tanker Trailer. Obviously they go from 5,000 to 50,000 litre capacity. It's going to do all your liquids for you. So you go into it, you've got options on the back part. So fenders, no or yes. And then standard capacity or the unreal capacity and then change the main colour again to match up to your main vehicle. And then in the option for the trailer, the usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres that just matches it up to what your vehicle has already got on it. And then fenders again, no or yes. Capacity, standard or unreal. Main colour matches that. And then rim colour obviously does the rims. We've also got part of this pack, the TLX Snowplow. You're going to find this under winter equipment. So it's got a three metre working width, although that's... To be fair, it's all right because it's a snowplow. 2,450 to buy. The options you got there are color of lights, white, yellow, or white. Then you've got strobes, standard, upper left, upper right, on the blade, all the strobes, or back to standard. You've got main color, any one of those, matches it up to your vehicle. Then design color, we'll go over blue, changes all the framework. Right. So, we've got it all set up here. So, we've got the plow in front of us. So, you just pull it up. Obviously, you've got to have that plow attachment on your vehicle in the first place. So, pull up close. Hit A. There we are. And we'll do L, B, and right stick left and right. Turns the plow. Obviously, get the snow out the road. And then L, B, and R, B up and down. Raises it and lowers it. So, we'll then back up. Oh, nearly crashed into it then. That's a bit terrible, on it? Back it under the same as all the other ones that we've seen when you first got the pack out. Now what you need to do to get the auto loader to work, you need to open the door. So you do L, B and A. Open the back doors like that. And just reverse up to it. And it starts loading into the back. As easy as that. Close the doors and away you go. Brilliant. I know this is an update and we've sort of done a bit of a mod review on it, but the, what they put into this is pretty much the same as a normal mod anyway. That is brilliant. Right, so the first new mod we've got for the day is the Storage Pack by LSMT Modding Team Agestar, 4.52 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under containers. So there we are, 17 grand to buy. Obviously, depending on what you want to go for, depends on which one you pick. So we've got the fertilizer storage, lime storage, mineral feed storage, and seed storage. 
So obviously they're only going to take the one thing inside. So bear that in mind when you're placing one down. Now you've got your onload point there or load into your equipment. That's the way you want to put it. Open it up. There we are. Now it does have a grate there. So can you load into it as well? As well as taking out. You have got the option on the spammer there. Click on that. You can put the fertilizer in on this one that I've placed down. Obviously 500,000 litres is the top one. But 880 grand. Dear oh dear. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of money. Anyway. If you want to place one of these down, get some storage on the go. Ah, oh, they're all right, they are. Very nice indeed. Right, next up is Open Cow Pasture. This is by The Little Farmer. 3.21 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under animals. So we're going to there and under the cows. Nine and a half grand to put down. There is one thing. It is rather large. Very large indeed. That being said, it's all right. So we click on the animal dialog box there, hold 60 cows, obviously water in there, food in there, and then there's your milk taking out point. Obviously it being a pasture, it doesn't do manure or slurry. So if you are after a bit of that from your cows, you might want to give this a miss. But that being said, that's a very nice pasture. Very nice indeed. All right, next up is the Lizard Bunker Closed Pack. This is by Hispano, 2.89 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under silos. So we'll go in there, we'll scroll along to find it. And you've got a couple of options with this again. So you've got three options there. So it starts off with the small one, the 2000 KL. That is going to hold 2 million litres, according to the website. You then got the 400, 4000 KL, sorry. That's going to hold 4 million litres. And then the 6,000 K out, that's going to hold 6 million litres. So if you've got a load, absolute load of chaff on the go, I want to make some silage, drop one of these down. Very nice indeed. Obviously, yeah, I've got to pay for them. So the small one's 155 grand. Medium one is 255 grand. And the large is 355 grand. Right, next up is the Industrial Sugar. This is by County Barrow, 0.83 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find it in two different sections. So you've got one under pallets, which is this one, 1,000 litres for 1,550. Then you also come out of that and we'll go in big bags and we'll scroll along. There we are. Again, 1,000 litres for 1,500. So slightly cheaper on the bag. Ah, if you've got some recipes in your production chain that you need a bit of sugar and you haven't got that on the go with a production chain already, this could be a very nice indeed for you. Right, next up is the Weight Pack 650-900. This is by... Now, I'm going to apologise before I even try to pronounce this. Schwaben Gamer. 1.92 megabyte on the download you're going to find these both under weights so we've got the 900 and then the 600 so if we go into the 900 obviously 900 kilo weight 1200 to buy the options you got there are warning stripes no or yes you got attaches standard three point or standard so obviously you hook that up to the front of your tractor and you can have a three point on the front of that as well that's all right Main colour, obviously changes the main colour. And then the warning stripe colour, if we'd had them left on, changes the warning stripes. And if we come out of that and go into the 650, 650 kilo weight, 800 to buy. The options you got there are rope, no or yes. Then change the main colour to whichever one you want to go for. So if you need a weight for the front of your tractor or even the back, mind you. Ah, these are all right, they are. Right, next up is the Unia Gradziad U601-0. Now, again, I'm going to apologise if I tried to pronounce his name. Zimowi Wajonik. I'm so sorry if I've got that wrong. 1.01 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this under rollers. This requires 20 horsepower from your tractor. And... Oh, 1.7. 1.7 metres. Is it really... Right, all right, carry on. 
nine mile an hour working speed 900 to buy and then you can change the main color to any one of those depending on your preference 1.7 meters really all right we'll carry on all right next up we got the uniac grad ziad u023 stroke one again this is by zimowi wajnowik i'm um, Again, I apologize if I pronounce that incorrectly. 2.54 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under plows. So 40 horsepower requirement from your tractor. One point. That roller is 1.7. This is 1.3. We're, we're, we're going smaller. <laughs> we're going the wrong way. You're supposed to get bigger. Dear, oh dear. 7 mile an hour working speed. 800 to buy. So it is nice and cheap. Very cheap. And the options you got there are design 1, 2, and then back to 1 main color obviously changes the main color 1.3 dear oh dear right next up is the lizard nvft 72 disc this is by sm farm 9.02 megabyte on the download gonna find it under disc harrows so this is going to require 205 horsepower from your tractor 7.1 meter working width 15 mile an hour working speed 56 grand no options it comes as it is now obviously you'd hook up to that end when you're transporting it and then you need to come around the side there to hook up when you actually want to get some harrowing on the go that being said that looks very nice right next up is the joskin modulo 16000 basic this is by camillos 0397 5.21 megabyte in the download you're going to find it under slurry tanks so this is going to do your digest date and your slurry for you it's got a 15,800 litre capacity 160 horsepower tractor requirement 14 meter working width 9 mile an hour working speed 50 and a half grand to buy as standard so the options you got there are the usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tires then you've got fenders, so without fenders, standard, fenders and reflectors, without fenders again. Chassis colour, go for any one of those. Design colour, we'll go for a green. And then rim colour, obviously, does the rims. I mean, 15,800 litre capacity, that is mm, small on the tank size. 14 metre, though, that is a fairly decent width. So we'll give it a pass on that one. Right, next up is FarmTech TDK1600. This is by BGamer003. 4.71 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under trailers. So you've got a 14,000 litre capacity. 20 and a half grand to buy. Although it says 19 grand with 1,500 options. That's the cover. All right, we'll carry on. So usual shenanigans on the go with the wheel brands and the tyres. Cover, you got the option yes or no. 1,500 price tag on that. And you can change the cover colour to any one of those. I mean, 19 grand, 14,000 litre capacity. Ah, that's all right, that is. Right, next up, we've got the HTW40. This is by Kyla Modding. 13.28 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under trailers. So 40,000 litre capacity, 69 and a half grand to buy as standard. The options you got usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. You can then add a cover, no or yes. Then fill volume. I don't even know what that says. All right, we'll carry on. That doesn't change anything to the capacity, mind you. And then you've got the main color. We'll go for hardy. Why not? Design color. We'll go for a yellow. And then rim color obviously does the rims. 40,000 litre capacity for nearly 70 grand. I suppose it's all right. All right, next up, we've got the Demco 22 Series Grain Cart. This is by Custom Modding, 54.29 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these two under auger wagons. So we've got the 1100 and the 1300. The 1100 has got a 44,048 litre capacity with a 240 horsepower tractor requirement. And then the 1300 has got a 50,215 litre capacity with a 300 horsepower requirement. So we've got the same options on both. So we're going to 1100. Usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. You've got the decals. You've got standard, red, USA. Oh, that's all right. USA flag on the side. USA red, Canadian, 
Oh, that's all right as well. If you're a Canadian farmer, very nice. Canadian red, then back to standard. Well, where's the UK one? It's all right having USA and Canada, but what about United Kingdom? All right, we'll, we'll carry on. We won't feel too hurt by it. Then we've got scale, no. Scale lizard cart, scale lizard cart and display. And then no. Rear hitch, spin it round. No. Or oh, yes. You could have a little train on the go with that. Hmm. Then we've got electric tarp, no or yes. Then we've got oversized sign, no or yes. Then support and lights. And full lights. And then back to no. We've got front chain. Spin it around the front. No or yes. Then we've got main colour. Any one of those changes the main colour. And then rim colour obviously changes the rims. So if you're into your auger wagons, this is very nice indeed. Right, next up we got the Cockerlink Jockey 600. This is by Arm Team. 9.79 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under Cedars. So this has got a 2,800 litre capacity. 160 horsepower requirement from your tractor. 6 metre working width. 11 mile an hour working speed. For 44 grand. Now we've got our 500 option on that. Alright, we'll carry on. So the usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. You've got main colour. Any one of those. Design colour, we'll go with a red, changes the top of the seed cover, and then the rim colour obviously changes the rims. Oh, that's alright, that is 6 metre, very nice. Right, next up is the Case IH Tiger Mate 255 Field Cultivator. This is by Custom Mudding again, 19.2 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under Cultivators. So this is going to require 500 horsepower from your tractor. That being said, 18.2 metre working width. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. This is some wide boys on the go. Definitely. Very nice. For 500 horsepower tractor, definitely worth it. Excellent. 9 mile an hour working speed, 104 grand to buy as well. So the options you got there are 4 bar Tiger Tyne Harrow. You can then have 2 bar plus Soil Command Crumbler. 3 bar plus Soil Command Crumbler. And then back to the 4 bar Tiger Tyne Harrow. And you got options there are numbers. No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then back to no. Ah, oh, that's so right, that is. I mean, the 500 horsepower from your tractor is a bit high, but 18.2 metres. Oh, definitely. Right, next up is the New Holland TS Series. This is also by Arm Team. 14.96 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under small tractors. So it starts off with an 80 horsepower engine, 24 mile an hour top speed for 85 grand. Usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres, although a lot of them are the two-wheel drive. So if you scroll through them, though, you can get to one where it says standard. I'm assuming that's going to be four-wheel drive by the looks of those wheels. Yeah, excellent. Then you've got design, no fenders, only front fenders, only back fenders, all fenders, and then no fenders. Design, you've got clean windows or tinted windows. Tinted window, that's not tin, that's straight up painted black. <laughs> All right, carry on. You've got front loader attacher, no. Stall, quickie, Howard, and then no. So engine setup, so 80 to start with. That's just changed the colour. So that's the TS90 Fiat Agri, still with 80. And we've got 90 horsepower, 90 again, 100, 100 again, 125. 125 again, then back to 80. You can change the rim colour. Go for red. Yeah, obviously the older style. That's all right, that is. So if we come out of that, we'll start it off. If we do LB and RB together and left stick left and right, opens up the right hand door. RB on its own and right stick left and right, opens up the left hand door. And RB on its own and right stick up and down opens up the back window. 
Right, and our last mod for the day is the Case IH Axle Flow 250 series. This is again by Custom Modding, 80.28 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these under the harvesters. So we've got these three here. We've got the 7250, the 8250, and the 9250. Now, obviously, the only thing that changes really is the grain tank capacity. So the 7250 is 14,408 to 18,324. Then the 8250 is 14,008. 14,408 to 19,733 and then the 9250 is 14,408 to 24,667 yes 24,000 brilliant so if we go into that one obviously they do have different horsepower ridge. so the 7250 468 horsepower the 8250 is 555 and then the 9250 is 634 horsepower. All got an 18 mile an hour top speed. So the options you got there are usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. And you got axle length, standard, 140, 144, back to standard. GPS antenna receiver, standard, 372 antenna, 372 and receiver cab, and back to standard. Attaches, which is around the back. Rear attacher. We'll go down a little bit, that's better. There it is. Or standard. So grain tank. This is where we start to really get some good things on the go. So 14,408 to start with. We then got that one is 18,324. Then 14,408 again. 17,050. 14,408 again, 16,210, going down, 19,73, there we go, we're really getting there now, and then 24,667, I think you got to go for the big one though, haven't you, really, you really have got to go for the big one, I mean, why not, then next you got the spreaders, round the back again, so stock spreader, fine shop, or stock spreader, an oversized sign, no, or yes, then the pipe, so we've got 40 foot static, 40 foot pipe 2, 30 foot pipe 1 and 2, 50 foot, <laughs> 50 foot, yes, then pipe 2, then back to the 40 foot folding pipe, 50 foot folding pipe, and then 40 foot static. So that you got, you're going to have to go for the, the 50 foot folding pipe and the 24,000 litre capacity on the grain tank. That's going to be the best option definitely right so if we come out of that we'll start it off now if you do rb and right stick left and right opens up those covers that's ace you can get out you can get under there and have a look do a bit of maintenance you know that really does add into the role play you know you fix your own harvester or at least jet wash it out getting all the dust and that from underneath that's brilliant i love it that's the last mod for the day so that's it done and dusted drop it in the comments below which one's your favorite which one you're thinking of using if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one